Hi guys and gals, Al Smith here. Today we're going to uh, start, we're going, I'm going to go through lesson two in the beginner course. And the major focus of today's lesson is going to be opening one no trump and opening one of a suit. Now in each one of these lessons, we're also going to talk a little bit about the Claire play. And what we're going to talk about today in that dimension is you need to make a plan once you've won the contract as to how you're going to play the hand. So uh, one of the, the, now I'm not sure how many of you actually uh, uh, use BBO, but BBO is Bridge Base Online. It's a great place to practice. You can actually go online and uh, go to the casual areas and join a table and practice playing bridge, or you can practice playing against three robots. And there's a whole bunch of videos to tell you how to do various things. I'm not going to go through those. I just want you to know they're there. And if you ever have a question, you can't figure it out by watching the videos, give me a call. I'm pretty much always here. I quit working about 20 years ago. Okay, let's talk about the opening bit. Okay. Uh, uh, now, what we want to talk about is what are the goals associated with bidding? Well, uh, we want to be able to get to what are called game contracts because the reason we want to be able to get the game contracts to find them is there's lots of bonus points uh, that you get if you bid and make a game. Okay, now three no trump, four hearts, and four spades are what we call game contracts. And you need about 25 plus points between you and your partner in order to make game. Okay. And about half the points, that, that's about the, the, the way they came up with 13 is that about half the points required to make games. So if you've got half the points or more than, you know, the half of the points need to make game, your partner's got something, they have a pretty good chance. Okay, so we're going to open with 13 plus length points, okay? 13 plus length points, high card points plus length. We'll see lots of examples of that. Okay, bidding is an exact language. In fact, it's uh, learning how to bid and bid correctly is, is like learning two or three different languages because you use different types of bids in different situations depending on the seat. Okay, every bid has a lower and an upper point limit. That's really critical because what we want to be able to do is say, partner, I've got six to nine points, or I've got 13 to 15, 16 to 18, so forth during the bidding. So uh, be aware that every bid has a lower and upper point limit. Okay, strong bids create an upper limit uh, uh, for one level opening bids. Now, let me see if I can, uh, I can explain that. We've got two strong bids, all right? One, we're going to open, uh, and we don't need to really understand why right now, but I want to point out that the, because there are strong bids, they, they create an upper limit for the one level bids. So if you open two no trump, it says you've got 20 plus high card points with a balanced hand. Okay, so that's, a, that's an upper limit. So if the two no trump is 20, and two clubs, this is for a strong distributional hand, is 19. The upper limit of an opening bid is typically around 18 points. Okay, what does this just do for us? It says, well, let's take a look at some of these bids here. Okay, if we pass, how many points we have? Well, we've got a minimum of zero. And yes, you can have zero points and a maximum 12. So you got a 12 point range there. That's a pretty big range. Okay, a one level open, how many points? Well, we're gonna have 13 up to 19. So we've got a seven point range there. Okay, and what else we got here? I can't even see it because my thing is in the way. Okay, it says open to no trump, how many points? It says we've got 20 and a max of 37. Now, I've never had 37, but you had four aces, four kings, and four, queen, and four queens and one jack, you have 37 points. I've never even gotten close to that. I think the most I've ever had probably in 10,000 hands 
is somewhere around 26, 27 points. Okay, so just uh, be aware that there's uh, that it's really important that you recognize there's a lower limit and an upper limit. Okay, don't try to memorize all this. That's an important concept. Okay, we're and we're going to talk about we're going to we're going to start by talking about one no trump. Okay, and then we're going to come back to the suit uh, to opening in a suit. Okay, and we're going to start at one no trump because it's a very specific bit. Okay, uh, and we're going to there are, there are three questions. You know, you know, let me kind of regress for a second. One of the things you really want to do is develop good habits. Okay, and every time you pick up your hand, you're going to count your points. Now, once you've counted your points and you've looked at the shape of the hand, the thing you should ask yourself, what, what, what is my first bid that I should explore? Well, if you can't open it, you don't have a really strong hand, which doesn't happen very often, you can say, can I open one, no trump? Okay, and why you start there? Because it's a very specific bid. Okay, and there's three questions you need to ask yourself. The first one is, is it a balanced or semi-balanced hand? Okay, now what does that mean? It means you've got two plus cards in every suit. Okay, two plus cards. If you only got a singleton, don't open a no trump. Don't even think about it. Some of the experts say you should or you can, but uh, don't. Okay, wait until you become an expert to think about that. Okay, so do you have a balanced or semi-balanced hand? And the easiest thing to say is, do I have two plus cards in every suit? Okay, and these are the balanced hands. And that says four, three, 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 says four cards in one suit, three in another, three in the third, and three in the fourth. So that's just the way you read this, this uh, nomenclature. Okay, does the hand have 15 to 17 high card points? And so you add up the, the points for your aces, kings, and queens, and jacks. And if you got 15 to 17, and you got two plus cards in every suit, you got two questions that you can say yes to. Now, the third question is Does the hand have two to four hearts or two to four and two to four spades? Okay, another way of saying this do, do I have more than five plus cards in hearts or spades? Okay. But I wanted to be able to say yes instead of no. So I said two to four hearts. So if you've got five plus hearts, five plus spades, you don't want to open one no trump. Okay. So these are the three questions. Okay. If you can say yes to all three of these, two plus cards, 15 to 17, and two to four hearts and two to four spades, the answer is you want to open one no trump. Okay. Now, remember, one no trump guarantees two plus cards in every suit. Now, the reason that two plus cards is so important is it allows you to establish communication between two hands. Okay? Because when you play no trump, uh, it's the high cards that are going to win tricks. All right, let's take a look at some examples here and, and basically go through and say, should we open one no trump with these hands? Well, let's look at this first hand. We've got four, seven, nine, 11, 12, 16 high card points. Okay, everybody saw how I calculated that. So we've got, well, first of all, let's say it's a balanced or semi balanced. Well, we've got more than two plus cards in every suit, so it's balanced or semi balanced. We've got 16 high card points. Do we have less than or equal to four hearts and four spades? Yeah, we've got three spades and and, 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 and three hearts. So we satisfy that. So we see the answer is yes. So we've got a, a yes, a yes, and a yes. So we're going to open this hand for one no trump. Cool. Let's look at the second example. Okay, you want to look at, why well, we got a lot of diamonds in this one. We got six of them. Well, let's take a look. Is this balanced or semi balanced? Well, this one is what we call semi balanced because we've got two double -tons. But the answer is yes, we've got two plus cards in every suit. So now how many points we got? Four, six, nine, 11, 12, 16. Hey, we're right in the range. We've got between 15 and 17. Do we have less than or equal to four hearts or four spades? 
and four spades. Yep, we got three and two. So should we open this hand for no trump? We've got all these diamonds. We want to show our partner the diamonds. Well, we're going to open one no trump. The reason we're going to open one no trump is we want to be able to show our partner how many points we have. This is going to be our first priority with this type of hand of showing how many points we got because we can always come back and bid those diamonds later. So we're going to bid one no trump. Let's look at the next example. Okay, we've got, is this balanced or semi-balanced? Well, let's look at it. We've got only a singles in club. We only have one. That's not greater than or equal to two. So the answer is no. We don't have to go any further. We're not going to open this hand one no trump because it's unbalanced. And unbalanced says we've got a singleton or a void. And singleton and void generally aren't very good to have if you're playing in a no trump contract. Let's look at this example. Okay, we've got number four here. Uh, is it balanced or semi-balanced? Yeah, this one's really balanced. It's four, three, three, three. You can't get any flatter than that. So the answer is a definite yes. Do we have 15 to 17 points? We've got four, five, seven, nine, 10, 14. Huh. Well, that's pretty close to 15, isn't it? Well, 14 is not good enough because one no trump, it's very specific. It says 15 to 17 high card points. Okay, and we don't want to lie to our partner by telling them we've got 15 to 17, we've only got 14. So it's not good enough. It's too weak. This is kind of like uh, the mama bear's chair, you know, or, or porridge. It's just too cold. This is too weak. All right, let's look at example number five. Well, this is an interesting hand. Well, is it balanced or semi-balanced? Yes, it is. Okay, do we have 15 to 17? We've got four, seven, nine, 11. We've got 15. Hey, it's in the range. Do we have less than or equal to four hearts or four, and four spades? No, we have five spades. Okay, we have five spades, so we do not want to open one no trump. The new or the modern standard American bidding system gives priority, first priority to finding a fit and a potential contract in the major suits. Major suits are spades and hearts. The second priority goes to no trump. And the third and last priority goes to the minor suits. And the reason for that is that uh, it's typically easier to make four hearts and four or four spades than it is three no trump. And those two contracts only require four, four, four hearts or four spades require you to take 10 tricks. Three no trump requires you to take nine and five clubs and five diamonds require you to take 11. So, you know, we're going to, uh, to, the priority is look for a fit in majors, then no trump, then the minors. Okay, so we want to give priority to the spades. So we're not going to open that one no trump. The second one here, third or six, number six here is, let's take a look at this. Boy, that's a nice look at that. Hey, okay, well, is, is it balanced or semi-balanced? Yes, it is. Okay, we've got four, seven, nine, 13, 14, 18, 19. We got 19 points. Okay, do we have less than or equal to four hearts and four spades? Yep, we do. We've got three and three. But should we open one? No, Trump. No, we're too strong. Okay, now, the, one of the really important things to note about this hand is that. We don't want to open no one no trump when we're too weak, and we don't want to open one no trump when we're too strong. Why? Because we're going to have follow-on bids that are going to allow us to better describe these hands later. Because there's a bid after this that will allow us to tell our partner we have 18 plus points versus 15 to 17. So it's it's how all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle fit together. So you just start to get into scratching the surface, but we don't want to open one no trump if we're too weak, too strong, or if we've got five plus hearts or five plus spades. All right, 
Now, that's pretty much everything there is to know about opening one no trump. Okay, now, opening a suit is a little bit more challenging, not because of points or anything, it's just because there's a very specific structure or sequence of priorities that you should take and you should follow and determine which suit to open. Okay, so these are the basic rules that you need to learn and understand and apply. And if you do this, you're going to be way ahead of the normal uh, social bridge player. Okay, the first one is you're going to open one heart or one spade with five plus cards in one of those two suits. Now, obviously you need to have 13 plus uh, starting points. Okay, so rule number one is you've got five hearts or five, spade, uh, five, five plus spades open in that suit. The second one is, do you have two five plus card suits? And if you do, you wanna open a higher, you wanna bid the higher ranking suit first. Okay, really important concept in bridge. Okay, assume that you have five spades and five hearts. Pretty cool. You got, you got both majors, you got two five card suits. Okay, now which one do you want to open in? You want to open in spades. Okay, if you open in, if you bid one spades and then you want to show your hearts, you can bid two hearts. Okay, so you got a one level bid then a two level bid, all right? Now, okay, and your partner called the responder can show a preference for their first bid suit if you bid one, heart, one spade, then two hearts by bidding two spades. If he likes hearts better and doesn't have enough points to continue, he pass, showing a preference for hearts. So you're giving your partner a choice by bidding the higher ranking suit first. Let's see what happens if you bid the hearts first. Well, you bid the hearts first, and then you bid two spades saying, I've got spades too. Now, what if your partner likes hearts better than spades? Well, he's got to go to three hearts. Okay, now you just force your partner to go to the three level. And now instead of being able to be needing to take eight tricks to make the contract, you have to take nine. So this whole second rule here is about giving your partner the choice uh, so that they can tell you what suit they would like, they prefer at the lowest possible level. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now, let's just take a look at the third rule. Okay, and this, this applies to primarily the minors because we've already covered one up here with the, the five plus and the majors. Is you have one five plus card suit? Okay, you've know, got well, fewer cards than all the other suits. Okay, you can open one of that suit. Okay, so you got five diamonds and less cards than the other suits and 13 plus points. You can open a diamond. Okay, now if you don't have a five card suit or more, okay, do you have four diamonds? If you've got four diamonds and 13 plus points, open a diamond. Okay. Now, very, if you have four spades, four hearts, three diamonds, and two clubs, you're going to open one diamond because you're a standard American without any conventions or anything, you're always guaranteeing a minor suit at least three plus cards. Okay, notice that. So up here, if we're opening a major, we're guaranteeing five plus cards. If we're opening a minor, we're only guaranteeing three plus cards. Major, major structural point about the bidding system. A major promises five plus cards. A minor only promises three plus cards. Okay, now you're gonna open one club shows three plus clubs. All right, so you could potentially only have three clubs. You've got four spades, four hearts, two diamonds, and three clubs. Okay, so you can see that, you know, uh, the, that you can potentially only have uh, uh, three cards in the mind. Always remember that one heart and one spade promises five plus, and one club of one diamond only promises three plus. 
Okay. Now that's really critical because in order to have a fit with your partner, what we call the golden fit, we'll talk more about that next week, is that you need to have a, the eight cards between you. So if your partner opens one heart or one spade, you've got three, you know, you've got a golden fit, you've got eight of them. Now eight is really a critical number because there's 13 cards in the suit. And eight says, yeah, we got the majority of these. So uh, now three, in order to have an eight card suit, you'd have to have five. So you can see the big structural difference in the bidding in relationship to when your partner, you or your partner opens one of a major versus one of the minor. Okay, let's look at these and apply these rules. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of throw some weird hands at you, but that's bridge. You know, you know, we have this kind of a joke about computer generated hands. Well, really doesn't matter. Computers generate weird hands. When you deal the hands out yourself, you generate real hand, weird hands. Okay, uh, I've never met a hand I didn't like. All right, let's look at this first hand here. Okay, is it balanced or semi-balanced? Duh, it's totally unbalanced, okay? Okay, we've got uh, no hearts, no clubs. We've got seven spades and six diamonds. Okay, how many points we got? Well, we've got four, seven, nine, ten high card points. All right, now we're going to count some length points in here. Don't forget about this. We've got one, two, three, four, five length points. You get an extra length point for every card greater than the uh, 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 greater than four cards in the suit. Okay, so we've got one for the, the fifth, sixth, and seventh in spades, and one for the fifth and sixth in time. So we got five distribution points and our previous high card points. So we got 10 plus five. We got 15 length points. Now, if we were just counting high card points, we wouldn't be able to open this hand, even though it is a super, super hand. Shape is everything. Okay, so what are we going to open here? Well, we've got seven spades and five, uh, six diamonds. So what we're going to do, we're going to open one spade. Okay, pretty easy. Let's take a look at another one here. All right. Now, is this balanced or semi-balanced? Nope. And the reason we're asking whether it's balanced or semi-balanced, this is not, if, it, if it's not balanced or semi-balanced, we're not going to open a no trump. So we're going through, we're building on the no trump rules to determine what we're going to open if we're going to open in a suit. So how many points we got here? We got four, eight, 11, 13. We've got 14 high card points and we got two length points. One for the fifth spade and one for the fifth diamond. So we've got 16 length points. All right, now, all right, what do we want to open with this particular hand? We know that we got enough points. Do we want to open one spade with those crappy spades? Or do we want to open one diamond with those super diamonds? Well, if you said diamonds, we better go back and review the rules because what we're going to do is we're going to open one spade because we're going to open the higher ranking suit first. That way we can bid the lower ranking suit second. Now this, this hand really points out another really important concept. When you're opening one spade, you're not promising anything about quality of that suit. You're only promising quantity. You're saying, I've got five plus spades. I hope you've got a whole bunch of them too. Well, <laughs> hopefully they have the ace king queen or something, but you know, we're only promising quantity, not quality. We've got enough points to open and it's a really nice hand. All right, let's take a look at example three. Okay, is this one balanced or semi-balanced? Yes, it is. Well, maybe we're gonna open this one no trouble. How about points? We've got four. 7, 9, 11, 12. We've got 16 points plus one link point is 17. You know, so we've got to keep both types of points in our mind. We've got 16 high card points. We've got 17 link points. 
Okay, now remember, we're going to use high card points to determine if we're going to open no trump, and we're going to use length points as it relates to opening and, uh, and, and bidding suits. Now, we've got 16 high card points. Should we open this hand in no trump? No, sir, Bobby. We're going to open this hand one spade because we've got five spades. Okay, well, remember, the bidding system is structured to give preference to finding the contract in spades and hearts, then no trump, and then the minor. So we're not opening one no trump. You can see how we're splitting that hair. Let's look at example number four. Okay, now that's kind of an interesting hand. We've got four spades, four hearts, three diamonds, and two clubs. Now, one of the things I'm just going to mention it here, we've got four cards in each one of the majors. Okay, the spades are the highest ranking, hearts are the second highest ranking, and so forth. Okay, because we've got four cards in each one of those suits, we have sort of the ability to kind of control the auction because we really don't care if the opponents bid hearts and spades because we got pretty good hearts and spades to play against them. So the odds are they're going to have to bid in the minor suits. That's where they're going to probably want to bid. And they're going to have to go to a higher level. So let's take a look at the basic questions here. Do we have a balanced or semi-balanced hand? Yes, we do. Each one of these has two plus cards. How many points we got? Four, five, seven, nine, ten, fourteen. We've got fourteen high card points, no length points, no card, no suit with more than four cards. So we've got fourteen length points. What are we going to open? Well, we don't have five spades, so we can't open a spade. We don't have five hearts, so we can't open a heart. But we do have three diamonds and two clubs. Now we would really like to really don't like opening the miners, but we don't have a choice, so we're going to do it open them open one diamond. Okay, now there's nothing bad about opening a, 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 a miner. It's just that I prefer to be open be able to open one heart and one spade because it's more informative and I have a better chance for gain, but the 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 the, the cards you have are the cards you have. So we're going to open this hand one diamond. Okay, and all it does, it doesn't promise anything about quality in diamonds. It does say you've got 13 plus starting points and it says you've got three plus diamonds. Okay, now let's look at this hand, the next one. Okay, we've got four spades and four hearts again. Same type of situation. Okay, and we, is, it, is it balanced? Yes. Points. Let's take a look at the points. Okay, we've got four, seven, 11, 13. We've got 17 high card points. We also have 17 length points because we have no suit with more than five cards. So let's, what do we, should we open here? Okay, should we open a diamond again? No, because remember, if we go back to our rules for opening a no, no trump, which we're going to ask ourselves every time we pick up and examine our hand so we can determine whether we should be bidding in a, in a suit contract we're going to open this hand, one no trump, okay? Example number six, okay? We've got balanced or semi-balanced? Yep, this is as flat as you get, four, three, three, three. All right, so it's balanced. How many points do we have? Well, we've got three, five, nine, 12, 14. We've got 14 length points. Okay, that's a nice hand, isn't it? Shouldn't we open that one? No, Trump. No, because it's too weak. You know, or mama bear's porridge is too cold. Okay, so what are we going to open here? Okay, can't open spades, can't open hearts. We've got three diamonds. We're going to open one club. And you go, well, what do you open one club for? You've got three diamonds and three clubs. Well, because if you've got uh, it, 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 the, it, the, the, the structure of the bidding system, uh, one club promises three plus clubs. If you've got three diamonds and three clubs, you're always going to open one club. That way you still have the capability 
your, allows your partner the ability to bid diamonds. If you open one diamond and your partner's got a whole bunch of clubs, they'd have to bid two clubs. So you don't want to encroach on your partner's domain. So with three diamonds and three clubs, regardless that this one's got the ace, king, queen, and this one's got the two, three, four, you could open this hand one club. Again, this is another situation where it's quantity, not quality. Okay, so that covers what I'm going to call the part of the lesson today, where we're going to talk about bidding. So in summary, open one no trump with 15 to 17 high card points, a balanced hand, two plus cards in each suit, and no five card major. And then use those other rules to determine which suit that you should be opening. Okay, it could take a little bit of practice, but that those rules of which suit to open are critical. Really make sure you understand them. Try to examine the logic behind them and understand them because uh, that will make a learning bridge a lot easier. All right, we're going to talk just for a couple minutes about the play of the hand and counting winners. Okay. You guy, you and your partner, your good buddy, your partner, have won the contract. Now, it's critical to know how many tricks you must win. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is to declare is to formulate a plan. You know, it's kind of like if you don't know where you're going, you're not going to get there. So if you won the contract, you got to formulate a plan of how you're going to win the required numbers of tricks. The first step in formulating the plan before you actually formulate, uh, uh, you know, determine how you're going to do it is you got to determine where you're at. So you're going to count what we count, call our sure tricks. And sure tricks are the number of tricks uh, that you can take without the opponents getting in your way. And, and then in the, the, the challenge then is to determine how many more tricks do you need and how you're going to take them. So sure tricks are tricks that you can take right away, aces, kings, queens, etc. So we're going to do a little exercise on sure tricks, because once you determine that, you can then start to formulate the strategy of how you're going to win the additional tricks. Okay, now let's take a look at some things here. How many sure tricks are there if you've got the 963 in your hand and the dummy, that's your partner, if you get laid down on the table, has the ace, seven, two. Well, I think the answer here is one, okay? Because they've got the king, queen, jack, 10, okay, plus some more. So that there's no way that you're going to be able to take the king, queen, jack, 10 with your ace. The best you could hope for is that you drop two of those honors, but they still have the Jack-10 left. And that would be the higher cards than what you've got. So this one only gets one sure trick, okay? In this hand, it's a little bit interesting. Now, one of the things you have to learn to do in bridge is look at your hand, the declares hand, and the dummy's hand, and merge them together in your mind. Okay, so if we look at this, which says, hey, I've got the ace and queen. I'm missing the king. Ah, and you look over there and you look at them. This is my partner. has got the king. So we've got the ace, king, queen. So we've got three winners, okay? Because we have three cards in each hand, we have three sure tricks, okay? So we've got to be able to start visualizing how the hands fit together. Okay, in the example number three, ah, boy, we've got the ace, king, queen again, right? Yes, wonderful. We're going to get three tricks. No, you're not, because we've only got two cards in the dummy, the ace, four, and the king, queen, and declares hand. Guess what? You're going to leave that queen, it, it, that ace is going to gobble up either the king or the queen. While we've got the three top cards, we don't have three sure tricks. We only have two. 
Let's look at this example here, the fourth one. Ah, we've got three cards in the Clarice hand and two cards in the dummy's hand. And we've got the ace, king, queen. We've got three sure tricks, right? Well, not so fast. It depends on where you win the tricks. Okay, where are you going to win the first trick in this suit? You're going to win it in the dummy. Because if you win it, in order to be guaranteed three tricks, you want to take that six with the queen, and then you've got the five to come back to the ace king, guaranteeing that you can get three tricks. But if you take the ace, if you take the uh, uh, if you take the ace and then the king, you're going to drop your, you're going to eat your own queen. So you got to be careful uh, about visualizing how the cards fit together, where you have to take the tricks first, and the communication back and forth between the two hands. Cover an awful lot of, uh, uh, of territory right here. So there's a lot to think about in there. Now, this particular slide is just a summary of what we talked about today. This is how the bids fit together. Okay, we've got one club, it says 13 to 18 length points, three plus clubs. The number of clubs is greater than or equal to the number of diamonds. Okay, for you non-mathematicians, that's a greater than or equal to. Okay, and we've got the same type of summary for each one of these bids. I just wanted to put it all on one page for you so that you can see how it all fits together. All right. That concludes the, 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 the basic lesson for today, okay? And what I'm going to do now is, uh, uh, where's my, uh, how do I stop? The, there's my stop recording, okay.